Okay, let's go straight to what's happening today. You know, very interesting stories happening in the news. Kwan Kwaso was prevented from using the Eagle Square for his presidential declaration. Now, this is less than 24 hours to the date slated by the former governor of Kano State, Rabiu Kwan Kwaso, to declare his presidential bid. Authorities have denied him access to Abu Jazigul Square, which is the proposed venue of the event. It was gathered that the authorities who have also denied um, have also denied the former governor access to the old parade ground, another major public area. He recently defected from the ruling APC to the opposition PDP, and he had announced Wednesday as the day of the event. The announcement was contained in a statement for his presidential campaign committee on Sunday. Now, Chukudi, first of all, why did they decide to do this? I must add also that they've gotten it. He has also announced a new venue, I think somewhere in Utaku in Abuja, a hotel somewhere in Utaku in Abuja. Why did they deny him this? Well, I think it's um, obvious. It's politics. And politicians will, you know, there's this popular saying that all is fair in the war and, and politics. Yes. Now, people will do everything that they can to score points and all that they can to undermine a rival or a competitor. But it is most unfortunate because our democracy will not grow. You will hear people refer to Nigeria's democracy as fledging democracy, nascent democracy. But we have politicians who, by their actions, undermine the progress or evolution of our democracy. How then are we expected to grow? Now, you see why this is very interesting. Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso had paid for the venue. And they let him know to less than 24 he hours. He had gotten an approval. And now you are coming to say that uh, it is a political event. And because it is a work day, you do not want, you know, congestion of traffic. But let me take you that memory lane. To those who had used the Eagle Square before with this particular incident. On the 14th of October, 2014, President Mamadou Buhari used the Eagle Square. It was a Wednesday, just like today, a working day. On the 10th of December, 2014, it was a Wednesday, just like today. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan used the Eagle Square. All this was in 2014. Let me now bring it home. As early as the 10th of July, 2018, the Buhari Youth Organization used the Eagle Square on Tuesday, a working day. And now, because it is Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso, your excuse is that uh, it's a working day. You don't want traffic congestion. After he had paid, after you had issued a receipt. So this reflects badly on our democracy as people that are not tolerant of other people. Aside from the fact that we have a lot eh, that have no idea about government, that should not even be class captains in a very good school, presiding over the administrative affairs of our country, these petty politics they play further undermine the growth of our democracy. But as Nigerians, this is what we must do. When we begin to carry their matter on our heads, in quotes, we are wasting our time because politicians are very, very quick to, you know, form new alliances and settle their differences when they leave us in the center. As Nigerians, let us be focused on the issues. And what is that issue? If we are desperate in need of those who are going to deliver on the promises of democracy to the people of Nigeria, we must become cautious with respect to our observation of government and governance so that we will know those that are serious in delivering on these promises and those who will work passionately in the interest of our great country, yeah. Nigeria. We cannot have a country that is abundantly blessed with human and natural resources and we resort to these petty politics. Then, like I said, all is fair in war politics. People can argue and say, well, you undermine your opponents or your rivals, but we must understand that we are setting a bad precedent. And in a democracy, what you must do is allow for people to express themselves. He has the right, it is enshrined in the constitution, the right to suffrage, to come out and stand and be voted for. So this action now, coming to say it's a work day, you don't want traffic congestion, it doesn't make any sense because I've given instances and as not too far back as July the 10th, where it was used on a Tuesday. So all these excuses, I, second base, let's move to something so, very important. Well, let's just announce real quick that there's a new venue mm. in Otaku. I think it's called Chida Hotel in Otaku, Abuja. So the announcement will still continue as planned. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.